Hey friends, let's try some free-for-all. This is my configuration. I use the Striker 9. And uh, the most important thing is the 50 round drum. Configure it any way you want. And I also use overpressure ammo. And that causes the enemy to flinch. Just got gacked by Princess White Pajamas there. There she is again. I think she likes me. I think she likes me. She keeps hitting me. All right. And I do throw out the proximities because, after all, it's free for all. Any kill in a storm. Check the classic hiding places. I love this map in Modern Warfare 2. And uh, there's gacking going on everywhere, but I take an early lead in this one. I can deal with an early lead. There's Princess White Pajamas. Gave her a few love taps back. And we got a, a diver. I do advanced movement, just not a lot of it when I don't need to. Yeah, the jumping and sliding is good. And taking a bullet in the air and falling sideways is advanced movement. And somebody jumps in front of my bullets. And the guy who was over there runs away. So my strategy is build a big early lead and then die a bunch of times at the very end. Because that's what I seem to do. I seem to be able to build a lead in most of my free-for-alls, which I've only played about three or four. Grenades taste good in the evening. Willing to trade a death for a kill just as long as I'm ahead in the game. Hopefully my proximity mine will do some work. Looking for Princess White pajamas. I kind of miss her. Ring around the rosies. He heard me and I gack him and I immediately get gacked myself. Always somebody in the box. He came looking for me. All I need two kills, so it's time to start dying a bunch. We don't want to win this one walking away. And I eat another Granado there. But really, the strategy is keep moving. Okay, there's another old map, another princess white pajamas. I think she followed me. I should get a restraining order for her. A do not contact, because she's always trying to shoot me. Some people like to ca uh, camp in free-for-all. Okay, I don't disrespect anybody's play style, but I don't see any way you're going to win if you camp. Building angles. The striker is a very underrated, striker 9, that is, is a very underrated SMG. Gets bullets out fast, and it seems to kill people quickly. There's, oh... So, I think that's the one that killed my friend, the princess. Somebody trying to check in customers at the hotel, Brennenberg or whatever it's named. And Horn Man, Devil Horn Man, he gets two kills in a row on the bad side. And of course, he causes me to get gacked, and I'm now six behind, so this isn't looking good. So I'm concentrating on building angles. There's somebody behind me. I heard somebody coming around, so that would be the better the better choice because he would have shot me in the back. Somebody going to check in or check on their Breenberg Hotel points. Try to get a free stay. And I see that guy. I wouldn't have seen him but for the UAV. I'm on a nice eight kill streak. That helps in free for all to go on these streaks. UAVs in free for all usually get me killed because I'm staring. Oh, now I should have killed him. The streak ends at nine. But that gave me the lead. 
We got the good guys winning. A little bit of alcohol abuse there, shooting the bottle. And I shoot at nothing, which at my age, quite common. But I am building up a good lead, so it's going to be time for me to die a bunch of times in a row if I follow my well-honed strategy of free-for-all. There's Devil Horn guy. And I get knifed. I'll mac the knife there. Easy kill. It's 26 to 24. It was just 26 to 19. I just didn't show you all my deaths. I showed you some of my sample deaths. I take a two kill lead, making myself dizzy, jumping up and down, doing everything I can do to find people. Three kills at the end, a free for all, a lead is almost insurmountable. And there it is. So the grandpa wins five kills margin of victory on the second one this is my third in a row so i i played these consecutively and i know some of you're going to say man i haven't seen a lobby like that since treyarch took over in 1847 well you know what i'd be happy to have you join on me if you think i get easy lobbies and you may find you enjoy them because skill-based matchmaking says that if you win once, I assume they're going to give you a harder lobby the next time. This is my third game in a row. And maybe my third easy lobby in a row. I don't know. You could be right. That was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. I knew exactly where he was. I pre-fired him, and he gacked me. I'm getting shot from everywhere. I have no clue where this person is, so I lay down. Started out behind on this, so I can't die as many times at the end. I know that the first three places are considered victories, but I consider it a loss unless I come in first. Like I always say, second place for me is the first losing position. Where is he? Oh, did you see that slide? My guy can't slide like that. I think he's got bad knees. Too many arthroscopic surgeries. So I'm hanging around first place. The shirtless wonder, Fabio there, gacked me. So I'll be looking for him. I'm starting to get further behind. Double kills. And Fabio. Fabio was laying there dead. Another double kill. And that ties me up. I have trouble getting through glass. It's like I die with my face against it. Nice streak. Tree man. Very friendly. Went in front of me. There's the ninth kill. And I always die on nine kill streaks. There's the requirement. Building up a lead. Keeping building angles. Keep building those angles. Ah, there's Fabio. He's a goner. Shot while running from battle. I get gacked. I think Fabio got me, but I've got that three, three kill lead at the end, which is hard to overcome. One more kill gets it. And I'm taking I'm taking damage. But blithely jump and turn at the same time and get the win. Hey, like and subscribe helps me help the family. Peace.